Oh my, this beard. We need to do something about this. But hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is episode two, Survive the Art. Well, Survive the Summer with Art. And today, as you can see, I've built a little bit of our main base. Well, the foundation of our main base. And when I tell you, building this shit out of lumber is hella fucking hard. It takes forever. You see all that out there? Oh, wait, wait. I got to show you guys something. Before anything else, right? Close that door. I made this, right? This, there's little walls. Like, you could get little stone walls and primitive plus. That's what I started using. And then it was like, eh, the, the Triceratops can still walk over it. So then I got the big walls. And you can't stack the little fences on top of each other. So I destroyed the little ones and started the big ones. But this took forever. Just doing this took forever. And they don't snap to each other. So you have to line them up and get them right and then just snap it there. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is these lumber foundations and lumber walls. When I tell you, you have to harvest wood forever forever to get that and let's go over here to the lumber stations you know the little workshop had to put on the edge of the beach because we want to use this whole entire beach here so let's see let's see what what we got here we have wood stacked for days in here just creating lumber that's all we're doing just creating lumber and you know you gotta keep it stacked up at a thousand so that we can create as much as possible and then over here it's the same situation. Lumber for days. So now the only thing that we have to do is collect a lot of stone because this takes a lot of stone to make. So that that's what I will be doing off camera. That way you guys don't have to watch it because it is a long ass process. Just as a long ass process. And throughout the process, I've been collecting stuff to make arrows since now we're at level 29 so I've been crafting a lot of things and these and if you guys are playing primitive plus uh lumber things literally level you up so fast crafting building materials level you up extremely fast so this is for this here this affair uh what was it that I wanted to craft where is it where is it not the smithy. I didn't want to craft the smithy. It's this. The construction table. Because this gives us our apiary. So if we could get this. Then we could get the, the beehive going. And then we'll come back and get the smithy. And then once we have the smithy we're good. So what I need to do is. Go kill some things and gather stone. So good thing we have this. Uh, and you remember how the. When I got the little hunting knife. How it said it gives you extra height. That was a fucking lie. Don't believe that. That's a lie. Because I have gotten no extra height from that. I get more high using a stone hatchet. And I up my melee damage. As you can see. It is 180. My melee damage is 180. I've done that just for that reason. So I can get more height using the, using the little hunting knife. And I was lied to. No, I lied. My melee is 140. <laughs> I can't. I can't see or read. But yeah, that's what it is, and that's that's what I've been upping most of the time. That and health. And I put a little bit in the fortitude and weight. But yeah, I've been trying to get that much stuff so that when I use the hunting knife, I could get a lot of high. But no, it only gives me one high, and then I go and pull out the the uh stone hatchet and i get seven high and i'm like okay well this is a lot better than the stone thing so let's get the stamina back up and this right here is death when it first came into the game this moss shop i honestly was terrified i thought that it was a meat eater and it was on along every beach so it scared me i thought it was going to kill me should I kill these? 
they run, I don't got time to chase it. Nah, nah, not nah right now, not nah right now. I'm not afraid of it. I just don't got time to be chasing it. Then I can fuck up, hit something else. Let's just find something that comes at me, like copies, dilemmas, dimorph, dilophosaurus. Damn, I said dilemmas. What the hell, dilophosaurus? Uh, that's a cool looking parasaur. I'm gonna keep that alive. Yeah, later on, guys, we're gonna be doing some breeding with some dinosaurs just to get some cool colors. And then later, and then there's gonna be some times where we do it to get better dinos, but this is just literally the beginning is gonna be for colors. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm looking for some good dinosaurs to start with, and that's one of them. Oh, it's bad on the stingray. I do not want to fight that. That's not my problem. That is not my problem. It just looked weird. Why would the tail just bob up and then drop on the water? There's over raptors right here, right? Oh my god. They're, they're good dinos to have. And then annoying dinos to keep track of. Because if you are in the base that is in the open and you're breeding, they can come through and steal your eggs. So you gotta be careful of that. I saw most of the time people build walls and stuff to keep other dinos and people out and since we're on a we're on a single player server I will have to build a oh wow I did not think I could do that I did not think that would work but it did unfortunately well fortunately not unfortunately fortunately and here let's try to get some more metal or flint whichever one it works oh and while I was building right you remember how I had all these medjos in the bottom right of this of my hotkey like my hotbar on the right hand side of the hotbar i had a lot of those bears and then they got stolen from me by pego mastax and it started taming me up and then it started going down it's tamed up by eight percent and i had about 90 something berries i was like what the fuck See, I didn't care that it stole it because I was like, hmm, I never tamed one of these before. Let's see what will happen. It only went up by 8%. I was so irritated. So I hunted it and I killed it. It made me mad. I'm so I was going to come back to you guys with a tamed animal. But, uh, no. That, it was stupid. It, should, it shouldn't have happened. You see this right here? This saddle? This is my favorite animal in the game. The Thylakaleo. It is a marsupial and it was found in Australia the biggest predatory marsupial in ever found in history it is literally the bees knees in this game just kidding it is literally super strong the health of a spino the damage of a carno it's pretty fast it can climb walls and obstacles so it can get you out of a tight bond so I am going to when I get the opportunity to go and get those, that will be what I'm going for. Dalekaleos are literally my favorite, favorite, favorite kind of animal in the game. And I love those with a passion. So we'll try and get more of those. We'll try and get those as the game, as we get closer. And they're found in the Redwood biome, which is, which is the... You see like how my island, like the little peninsula that I'm on, is connected to the biggest part of the island. It's connected all the way through. That little section in the middle with the two little mountain chains from about uh, longitude 30 to about longitude 60, though that's the redwood. That's just, that whole island is all redwood. So they could be found all throughout that little island. I mean, well, that medium sized island there. And that's where I'm going. Later on, I will be heading over there. It will. It is a dangerous trip, so I need I need some dinos to go over there. Fast dinos, that way that they don't get taken from me, or they don't die on the way over there. And uh, yeah, that's that. I remember telling you guys that I was afraid to come down here because there was some. 
Usually Sarkos spawn here. And if you guys don't know, those are Super Crocs. Think of a crocodile today and how fucking huge that is. And then the Super Croc is way bigger, way scarier, does a lot more damage. And it hunts way more ferociously. So, yeah, fuck that. Not for me. But I came over here just because there was a, a green beacon drop. And, you know, we're level 15 now, so we can get it. So I tried it. And when I got over here, there was nothing here. So I wasn't terrified. So that's why I can't. So I come down here now. You see that? Six hide. Six hide. From a dodo. If I would have used the hunting knife, I would have got one. If that. Oh my god. Why does dodo so high level? Now I know that on the server that. Uh. 145 is pretty high of a level. That's the highest level I've seen so far. Oh, is this trike stuck? This pickle mass sex. Run, 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 run. They steal shit from you. It's not cool. I'm not with it. Where the hell is it coming from? Oh no, it stole the high. It stole the high. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my god, my accuracy. Die. Thank you. Oh my god. That thing took so many arrows to die. What the fuck? Where's the health at? Can I have my high back? Thank you. So I want it. Other than that, you could die. Thank you. My bow's about to break. What the fuck? Uh, excuse the bad, the bad hunting and shooting arrows. I'm not usually this bad at it. I can just really just pull it back and let it fly. And we normally get the kill. I mean, you guys wouldn't believe that because obviously I can't do that at all this entire time but you'll see when I up my um my melee damage you'll see and besides I haven't played this game in about three days my accuracy still a little shot uh, I've been playing more so dead or alive which is a fighting game so yeah I haven't been really playing this all weekend sorry sorry for that guys so I had a video out over the weekend that normally won't happen. I normally will have videos out for the weekend, maybe one or two. But this weekend just didn't feel like playing art or <clears throat> it was extremely busy in here. And I can't record with a lot of people in here because it gets too loud. The commentary gets messed up. And now I want to send you guys just a video of the game sound. Come on now. That's stupid. That, that'd be a boring ass video. But, yeah. Besides that, uh, most of the time, this series is just going to go from Monday through Fridays whenever I can wake up early enough to get a video recorded without there being a lot of noise. I don't really don't want to be battling my family in the public area for noises and shit. Getting a video out while they're playing games, watching TV, and shit is loud. I don't want to have to deal with that. So, we're going to do this. And just maintain our schedule, getting it done early in the morning. Uh, and it also helps me because I get up early and I get some stuff done, which is good. So I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah. Today, what I really wanted to do is once I get the construction table made, let's. I really want to. Um, figure out how to um, get the API started and then we're gonna go out and tame some dinosaurs uh, I'm thinking of a trike first and uh, also in the green drop we got this trike saddle right this ramshackle trike saddle if you guys don't know there are tier lists for each item in the game 
well, most of the craftable items. And Ramshackle is just above just the primitive, right? So this Ramshackle trike saddle was in there. And I had just learned the trike saddle before this. It only took 10 Ingram points, so I wasn't too upset. But I learned it, and I was I was highly irritated. Because I was like, what the fuck? I could have just... I could have just waited. Oh my god, I thought I got away. I'm saying, wow. That's that was a champion over right there. Look at all that hide. Just by using a stone hatchet. Look at that. If that was any other like weapon when I had got that many hide. You see that turtle out there, guys? There's battling this manta ray. If you guys ever get the choice and you have to fight a turtle uh, and you're low level, don't do it. They will kill you. They have tremendous amount of health and they lose almost none of it. You can't do enough damage until you start getting metal weapons. So, don't try it. This is me saving you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and a lot of deaths early game. Alright? Don't do it. Let them live. You can live. You go about your happy death. Your best way of killing them is literally having tons. Well, early game is literally having tons of arrows. Arrows. And standing up somewhere high. Or just running away from them while you shoot at them. That's the best way to kill them. Because they move really slow. And when they do catch you, they do hella damage. So, yeah, that's that's how you want to take care of that. Let's see how many narco berries I have. I have 23 narco berries and rotten meat. These rotten meat, that's that's perfect. That's what you need to make narcotics. Those are stronger than narco berries, and it helps knock keep animals sedated whenever you knock them out. Or or it can also be used to craft. Narco arrows would do better torpor for knocking it out. This Bronto, right? This one right here. It wasn't over here. I'm gonna show you exactly where it was when I get back to base. And this shit stop shaking my fucking screen. Sorry guys if you can hear me sniffling. I I don't know what it is. Every morning my nose starts to run a lot, but it doesn't happen late day. So it's weird. <clears throat> and I don't know. I just feel really congested in the morning and I don't like it. I'm really heavy. I'm moving slow as fuck. Uh, can I drop something? I don't want to drop the stone because I need that. I need the hide. Oh my god, I need some wood. So we're going to go to the plank station. After I grab the metal, we'll go over there. Well, after I cracked up some narcotics, we'll go over there with the metal. And. Then we'll get this construction table set up inside the base next to. I'm, I'm thinking about putting it to the left of the smithy, and then put I mean to the left of the uh, furnace, forge, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and then put the smithy to the right. That way, whenever we need metal, all the metal is coming right out of this the uh forge and going right into the smithy and the construction table and right now I'm thinking about making this a uh, little building three stories high we'll start with the three stories high for now so we'll start with this first story get that done get that set up then after that once I've done the first story you guys will We'll be able to see that. I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to see that by either next episode or the episode after that. I'll show you guys that. But yeah, the Bronto, right? Let me see if I walk over here and see if it run if it runs the Bronto over there. No, it doesn't. But the Bronto was over there, right across from me, right now is where the Bronto was, right over there. Right? I saw it walking around. I walked over there a couple times. I saw what level it was. I was like, cool. There's a bronze over there, level 40. I'm gonna go get that later. And next thing I know, it's all the way down there. How? Don't know. How did it cross cross this little waterway, then travel down that way? Don't know. Without me noticing, don't know. 
is a stealthy Bronto. It's a ninja Bronto. So when we tame that one, it's going to be called Ninja. We're going to name it a ninja. It's going to have a ninja's name. It's a female too, so we're going to have a female ninja name. So you leave, leave whatever name you want to give that Bronto in the comments below. I'll remember it. I'll write it down for you guys. And then that's the name we'll give it. Because that's a stealthy Bronto. You see that? 31 Narcotics. That's how many Narcotics we've been able to make so far. Which I'm surprised. I didn't think we had that many. Oh, also. Uh, when I was building this our little foundation, our little starter point right there in the uh, all screen, I seen two raptors across the way and I was like, if somehow they make it over here, I'm going to be extremely upset because we are dying instantly. There's nothing I could do to stop that. And then it crossed my mind, put down a sleeping bag. And hopefully, if I die, I can get back out, grab everything, and we can keep going from there. Because I didn't play, like, this isn't played through far enough where, like, oh, wow, we have a lot of hiding here. I did not notice that. Wow. So I didn't need to hunt at all. That was a waste of time. Wow. I'm very, very disappointed in that. It being that much of a waste of time. Mm, that's disappointing. Oh well, I guess. I'm pretty sure I was over top of clay when I pressed A. Okay, so the clay can stack up pretty high. Let's put some wood. No, I'm gonna hold the wood. Clay. What do I need? I need some wood. How much wood do I need for the construction t table? I need. I need 50 stone. Uh, 30 wood. Let's get the 30 wood and then we'll come back. It's the same thing for the smithy, so. I don't want to take from there. Oh wow, that's all done. Okay. Uh, let's put the planks there. Go here. Take the wood from there. That's good. All right, I, can, I, I need this wood. I need it more so for this than the planks. I go out and get more wood for the planks later. Uh, let's put the spoiled meat, well, rotten meat, in here. Craft another narcotic. Uh, and the best way to spoil things, guys, is you see that right here, it has a spoil timer. And if you split that stack, the next stack will have a spoiler timer of the same. So you do that. If you want to rapidly get spoiled meat, this is how you do it. It makes sense. It makes the, it makes it so much faster to get spoiled meat. Because if not, then one one piece of meat in the stack will spoil. And then it will reset the timer for the next piece of meat. So that's just something I just figured figured out one day by accident and it works and I've been doing it ever since uh, let's go get those let's go get 13 stone yo that trike like this trike right here I'm telling you it wants to get this is no one the last trike was a level 40 female where did that one go so this one migrated over here and that one migrated away isn't that crazy and I was surprised. They can't cross over top of these. They can walk over the small stone fence, but they can't walk over the big stone fence, which is extremely good. And I did not think that there was stone in here. I actually grabbed this. Uh, I actually came here to this one to try and see if we had stone. It was just to check, and we did. I was actually surprised about that. I have one of these cooking tables and they work wonders. Well, I'm pretty sure they do. To be honest, I haven't used it yet. But from the description, I'm I'm actually excited to use the use that. I like the way the Smithy looks now in Primitive Plus as well, because it looks like it's a primitive Smithy, like there's no technology used in it. It's all like primitive primitively constructed. And I'm excited about that, but we need this. This right here. 
Then we need to figure out what we need for the APA. Then once that's figured out, we're going to be a business. Uh, let's see how close we can get. Alright. Oh, that's pretty close. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Firewood holder. Just five metal. Five iron ingot. Apiary. 75 wooden plank. 15 thatch and fiber. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I just do that. How much for the hand mill? Just wood. So... I can put the wood in there as well. Put the thatch in there. I think some stone will be useful. Put that in there. Put some flint in there. Flint. And I also crafted some crafted up some spark powder, which is two which is two flint and one stone to create. And you get two spark powder out of that. So if you ever have the chance, make spark powder. And inside of the, you make that inside of the mortar and pestle, and also with the mortar and pestle, if you put spark powder and charcoal in there, you get gunpowder. And you need that for for the guns in late games. And I don't think that there are guns in Primitive Plus, so I'm not going to be worried about that so much. But yeah, that's just for the guys who are playing on normal. Like normal art, just so that you know, that's how you do it. Uh, where's the door? Don't forget the door. Oh, no. Okay, I will just keep this door open during the nighttime because I cannot see that. And my game is all the way up, and I still couldn't see that, which is ridiculous. You need to come in here, put the rotten meat in, craft up three more. And then we'll go and go get some more narcotic narco bears for that. Uh, narco bears and thatch, I believe that we need to get. So that's what I will go get. We'll pick up this. Uh, drink some water because a nigga thirsty. Once we get that, we'll run all the way over here. Grab this other stack of plank out of here. Oh, I got all the thatch here too. Whoa. Okay. Then we don't have to go anywhere just yet. I can get the APA built. Throw that in there. That in there. I will go transfer all, but then I'll take everything that's in my inventory and put that in there. Don't want that. Make that. Uh, we're making this next. Let's go get the stone out of the other house, out of the little hut over there. All right, let's see. Where do I want to put the apiary? I'm afraid that if I put this apiary, I could die. Like the bees attacking me. And I hope that that's not the case. I'm gonna have to do some research. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some research because if I need something, because in normal um, arc there are bees that you can tame to get honey. But even after you tame them, right? If you go over to their hive inside your base without any ghillie suit or bug repellent, they sting you. And I don't want to deal with that. At least not early game. It's gonna be very very bothersome. Let's take this stone. That way we can make a hand mill as well. For when we start growing the crops, we can use that for stuff. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. We're getting things done. It's getting done here. Put the queen bees in there. Put the drones in there. And now, how does this work? What do I got? Do? do I just wait? This apiary allows you to make honey. Oh man, I don't know how does this work. How does this work? Please. Alright, alright guys. I'm gonna pull out my phone, go to Google. Uh just bear with me for a little bit. 
not gonna be that long. We're just gonna check to see what the APA does. How does it work? APA Arc Primitive Plus. Hmm. If there is at least one Queen B and one Drone in the APA. 20 worker bees and 14 drone bees will be reduced every two minutes. Every five minutes, if there are at least seven worker bees in the apiary, seven worker bees will be consumed to produce one beeswax and two honey. Okay, so every two minutes, we should get worker bees and some more drones, which is cool, which is cool. So we'll leave that there. We'll let that do what it do. Wait, wait, I have three queen bees, right? And one drone. I think I should take one of those and take one of those. Then make another apiary and put those two in there. That way I can get twice as much. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. What do I need for another apiary? Oh, some more plank. Mm hmm. Maybe I get three apiaries going. Hmm. Sounds nice. What happens if the queen dies inside the apiary? Like, if it expires. Because the time limit didn't go away when I put it inside the apiary. So, can it die in the apiary? And if it does, what happens then? Oh, wow. That's actually interesting. I guess we'll have to see when it happens. Will another queen just appear? Quickly! You see that white drop over there behind the house? I was literally thinking about going over there to get it, but I get the feeling I'm gonna die. Because it looks like it's nice. It's a nice easy trail up there. But I guarantee you, the second I get to the top, there's gonna be a lot of things attacking me. And I don't have time to be fighting though. Don't. Not today. I'm going to take this apiary. And we're going to put it next to the other one. And next to the other one, this one will go. Are these a match guard already? Oh my god, this one's closer. It's just fine. I'm not, I'm not too overly pressed about it. About it being symmetrical. Oh my god, here, there go the other one. But why two? Why do two have to be here? Like, this is so fucking annoying. They annoy the shit out of me. Beyond all imagination, they annoy me. And now we're just getting narco berries, guys. Just sitting here getting narco berries. And I also really want to um start getting the foundation for the greenhouse going as well that way we get two building processes at once oh wait maybe the bronzer that i saw is right over there and then the one that spawned further down there is a new bronto i mean i seen brontos spawn in like threes like in the pit in groups of threes but that was near mountains I didn't know that there was like multiple Brontos that spawn in the same area if one like didn't die already. Hmm. That's interesting. I think that what Ark should have did from the beginning was make it so that you get tiers of dinosaurs. Like you get like the babies, the juveniles, the adolescent and the adult dinosaurs. Like just roaming the islands as well. And you get some of the dinosaurs acting more like acting like they would when they were alive. Like some of them being herd animals, they will walk around in herds, like big groups, grazing. Like the biggest group that you get of dinosaurs is probably like a four or five man, like four dino group, four or five dino group. And that's not really a herd. It's just like a little like pod, a little group. It's over at this running from something. 
Whenever you see dinosaurs swimming that don't normally swim, they're running from something. So you gotta be mindful of that. Because that means that there's something that could be attacking you. I killed the level 20 female over raptor. And there was another one that just spawned. Wow, that's cool. But yeah, I think that that's the Bronto that was over there from the beginning. And this one is just a new Bronto. And those suck to tame. They take forever. So the best way to tame them is literally with the vegetables that you could grow in the gardens. Well, in your little greenhouse. Or with the kibble that specific to them. And I don't know what kibble that they specifically take. I'm about to look that up off screen and try to make that off screen but yeah they they take some kibble they'll take forever to tame though because they take forever to knock out they take forever to eat oh my god it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot to go to hmm. where are we looking for there's some other thing. I also said I wanted to tame something today, right? Yeah, so how we'll do that. Instead of making narco arrows today, since I don't have a lot of narcotic, we'll craft two slingshots and then gather up a lot of stone and then we'll go find an animal that is stuck, like this trike right here or the trike that was further down the beach near where the sarco spawns. We'll go find those trikes that are stuck on trees like this because they can't fight back you can literally stand there in front of them and just throw shit at them and they can't fight you back they can't do anything to get to you they'll run towards you but they can't do anything you just gotta make sure there's no other trikes in the area because they will literally they aggro and they want to come kill you to help protect their own see they have a herd mentality but they don't travel as a herd which is dumb. Makes no sense. This one will do melee damage. That way we can knock them out faster. Do I would get this so I can start with the little with the little small berries because they uh they can grow in a small crop plot crop plots and the bigger berries like the vegetables and everything else, the new stuff for this, you can only do in a medium sized crop plot. And I need to find that. I want this. I, I want to learn this, but not yet because I can't do a lot with it just yet. And I also want to learn this. But I typically, when I start going to drops, I start seeing a lot of these. So I don't want to like learn it now since I will get like a uh, now nah, it's not like I will get like a full functional one I will get one like the blueprint for it that way I don't have to build it on my own like learn it on my own and I can use Ingram points towards something else and so what I'm looking for is something different oh wow I'm level 30 now and I did not even realize it hmm it's just, they have cigarettes what <laughs> when you're having one of those days drastically reduce hunger by in increases oxygen consumption but increases oxygen consumption effects last 30 minutes <laughs> will not get this this is how you kill yourself guys Cigarettes. This is a bad example, Ark. You don't let this happen. No. This isn't a handrail, by the way. This is a wall. Ah, uh, they failed for that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is probably where they got the idea of Adobe from and Scorched Earth. Looking at this. And I'm guessing this is stronger than the the one I'm using now. I don't know. I don't know. I want the main house to be out of lumber, and then all the structures around it will will make it out of adobe. 
Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll do that. Make the main one out of lumber, then everything around it out of adobe. Uh, but what do I want to unlock now? I'm really thinking. I really got to think on this one. Because right now, I don't need a lot of the, the armor stuff. I'm not really doing much now. Oh, this Pterodon statue. I mean, uh, saddle now. Hmm, we might learn that. That might be the wave. What is this for? Packy rhinos. Uh, I might want to get that later. Order jar. Later. Excuse me, guys. Oh, man. Sorry. I told you, like, my nose is really running right now. I don't know why. I, sack of flour. What, I, I don't know. I need to really, really, really get one started extremely fast. Craft and a smithy. I want one of these. Definitely want one of these. Uh, scorpion saddle. Scorpions are actually extremely useful to have. They can literally do a lot for you they can do a lot so those are interesting to have you should definitely get those whenever you you can i don't want to learn the saddle just yet because i get a lot of those out of drops as well and cement i didn't see any like cement foundations or anything so i'm i'm hesitant to get that what I should do is get this large storage box. Those make sense. Get those. Uh, get the high pants and the rest of the hide stuff. Well, this hide hat is the last thing. That way, I can get all the other armor as I go along. Whichever else I want. I don't know why hide is a. It's like something that you need to have before that, but it is. Also, I want this. And I want this. Also want this. Oh, can't get it. But I would want that for protection. Protection. And I could start getting some fertilizer going, but I want to go team a dung beetle for that one. Which means I have to go in caves, which is very, very, very terrifying right now. Because the cave spawns a lot of things that can kill me extremely quickly. So if I go in there, I'm going in there with nothing. That way I don't lose much. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it with that now. What all did I learn? I just literally just forgot. Okay this I need a lot more hide and I need keratin and chitin for the for the pterodon for the pterodon I said pterodon it's pterodon guys I know don't make fun of me don't correct me I know how to pronounce it I'm sorry and if you guys are wondering yes that is a lumber lumber wall I, cre I made one and I put it out. I put it here just to see what it would look like before I started over there. And I actually like it. It looks great. Um, the rotten meat spoils so much faster here on, on this version of the game. Which sucks. Maybe I should have invested in the meat preserver. But right now, let's go and... Oh my god, can the game stop? Oh my god, it saved. The game saved. What the fuck? That was so weird. Okay, that's all the wood there used, and that's all the wood used there. Okay, uh, we need to go get some more wood. And when we go get wood, we need some more thatch as well so that we can create a large storage bin. That way we can put a lot more stuff in it. And the large storage bins will go inside the house.
Oh, my nose is so runny. Uh, it sucks. Oh, I could create a hand mill now. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, I have everything I need here for the uh, large storage box. Cool. I, I need one of those first before I make a hand mill. Large storage box, right? Then I'll put that back. Yeah, that's how I thought. I wouldn't have enough to make the uh, hand mill afterwards. We're just fine. We're just fine. I'm not too stressed. What I do want, though, is to make the smithy. But after... Oh, wow. Wow. They look completely different. I don't know how I like this. How I like the way it looks. It holds 45 still. Okay, okay, that's that's interesting. I can put all that in there along with this. Do that. I need some hide though. I need some hide. Bring the fiber. Do I have the hide in here? No, it's not in there. I need some hide, and I need to go get some more stone. And some wood. Hide is in here. Great. Hide. What's in here? Yeah, let's take this down. Oh, I have 35 chitin. I remember because I killed the chillabites. Okay, yeah. That's that's gonna come in handy. How many do I need for the pterodon saddle? Pterodon saddle, I'm sorry guys. Pterodon saddle. Uh 75 or 36, so that means I need 39 more. 39 more, okay, okay, okay. So let's go get some more wood. They go one right there. But I need, I, I should learn the bolas because that's what I would need to tame one of those. The bolas, knock them out, and then give them food which I don't have a lot of right now and I have just enough to learn the bolo but I don't have a lot of food right now which is unfortunate uh there we go here that's great I want two though I want two because these things break fairly often So if you had the chance, definitely craft two. That way when one breaks, you can just hop right over to the next one. <coughs> oh, we have 45 stone. Oh, this is just maybe enough. We're not going to start off with the level 40 because there are other tracks over here. Well, where'd that level 15 go? Did it walk all the way over here? That'd be great. If it walked all the way over here, that'd be great. This it? Oh, this is it. Oh, that is fantastic. How do I want to go about this, though? I'm interested in figuring out how to go about this. I really gotta figure out how to go about this. Nah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just gonna let that go. Let that stay over there for now. Hopefully the level 15 comes more so down this way. That way I don't have to worry about it. Like charging me while I'm trying to tame it. Tame the other one. Oh, here go another one that's stuck. 75 oh yeah we'll save you we'll have a little trike army guys that that would be that'd be a thing well we'll, we'll do that later when we want to get a lot of trikes and do some mutations with those i never did that i never tried to mutate some trikes i never tried meeting trikes i didn't peel Level 45 male, and there's a 45 female down there. Or level 40, I forget which one. 
but I think it's 45. But there's one over there. There's 75 uh, female. There's a 15 male. So the 15 male might die. Oh my. This one right here. This is the one that we're taming. Yup. When I get the chance, we're taming that. 100%. Level 62. We're taming that. 100%. 100%. Right now, guys, I'm just gra gathering stone and and berries. That way, I can feed to the trike after we knock it out, and hopefully, the narco berries can keep it sedated long enough to tame them up. And once we do that, we're good to go. We'll bring this bad boy back home. Get a saddle for it. Uh, let's not go that way because I don't know what's over there. Haven't gone that way yet. So we'll go this way. Like I've been before. You know, we can cross through this little crevice right there. Which is cool. Oh my god, I thought I saw an animal to the right. I did not. But we can walk over here. Run down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right up there. Where's it at? I know I saw one over here. Oh my god, my guy is hungry as fudge. One thing I do want to try is uh the stemberry method is what I heard from a lot of people is like you can use stem berries, right? You put those in his inventory. And they will eat those rapidly, and that will drain his hunger. And then, but you gotta watch the torpor because it will wake him up if he eats enough of them, and you don't use the narco bears to counteract it. Then once they wake up, uh, you have to start all over. One ten, holy shit! Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. It has to happen. One ten has to happen. Has to happen. Oh, it's trying to run already. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Oh, wait. You can. You're stuck. Oh, they just reminded me of 22 Jump Street when, like, I forget his name. But when Jonah Hill, I forget the character the name they played, but when Jonah Hill did the little stand-up poem. That's hilarious. She's dead. <laughs> She's fucking dead. That, that was hilarious. That was actually one of the funniest parts of that whole movie. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get this done. Get this thing tamed up. And once it's tamed up. We're going back home, bringing this beautiful, beautiful female back home. 110. I didn't even notice how high of a level it was. It was primed. It was meant to be. The art god said, yes, this is for you. The person who created the... Okay, okay, I can fix it. But I didn't want to do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's waste our resources. I just wanted to just... Hopefully I can knock it out quickly. 61 stone left. That will help. That'd be tremendous. Uh, sorry guys, I had to eat. I was about to die of hunger. Like this, like this bastard out. One thing I also want to get is a beaver. That's something I really want to get. Those giant beavers, because they create they create beaver dams. And with the beaver dams, we get a lot. We can get a lot with the beaver dams. We get a lot of wood, a lot of silica pearls, rare flowers, mush rare mushrooms. So we can do a lot. Yo, this thing is 
not going down. What the fuck? How many stone does it take? It's gonna die before anything. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit before I shoot it again. Maybe the torpor could go up a lot more. I mean that works with narco bear with the narco arrows. If you wait a little, if you wait a little while before you hit it again, torpor could keep rising. That way you can use a lot less of them. Is that a white drop going down? Oh, it's knocked out! Yes! Yes! Take these, put that there. No, 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 that's not what I want. I want to put that there. Then put the stem berries there. Right, and as you eat the stem berries, let them eat them. Let them eat them. Eat those stem berries. Fuck those stem berries up. Oh, it's not really affecting the hunger that much. Oh, that sucks. I use all the narco berries that I could. Bring the medjos back. Transfer the medjos over. Mad Joe! Get transferred! But I want the seeds back. I want the seeds back. It's gonna get 32 levels. That was, that was horrible taming efficiency because Stemberry method. Oh my god, that sucked. Stemberry method sucks. Don't do it, guys. It sucks. It didn't do anything. It didn't help out. You should do it on low level dinosaurs. Don't do it on high level dinosaurs. It sucks. Unless I did it wrong. Unless I did it wrong. Unless I was supposed to let it eat him on his own. Instead of force feeding it. I don't know. But yeah, I fucked up. Did it wrong. Doesn't matter. It's still going to be. If it teams out with 32 levels, then it's going to be 1 for the 2, which is amazing for the first animal I tamed. So I don't, I'm, not, I'm not too upset. It's not the highest level on the server as well. So I'm not that mad. I'm, I'm not that mad at all. It's going to do its job extremely well. I just, I'm looking for narco berries to keep it knocked out. Because I don't want to go back home and use the narcotics. Because I can use the narcotics for something else. Let's see, since I can't mass produce narcotics, narcotics just yet. Because hunting is a dangerous mission. Maybe I should improve the armor that I have. And the only way to do that is to go hunting and get more stuff. Oh. Okay. Go ahead and take the risk. To advance further and survive with better material. Human nature. Gotta take the risk. To progress with human nature, you gotta take the risk. That's what we'll do. How am I going to get this check out of this trees? It's stuck on four trees. Four different trees. Put you in there. Put you there. Get that up. Oh my god. It didn't team up at all with the shit that it ate. What the fuck? Yes. Yes. More hide. These are good to tame, but I don't want to tame it because easy, easy source of hide. Neat. Okay. I think I can outrun a Sarko. And if there's a Bronto, there can be a Sarko, right? 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 Oh, I'm so terrified. This is the point where predators come. Oh. They're baiting me. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Oh, and I got a bed. I got a bed out of it. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. 
Oh my god, I'm so sickly. But I'm not sick. I got it. I got a spark pot. I got a standing torch. I got a bed and two storage bins. That was, that was a good job. That was a good job for low levels. I'm not. I'm not too upset about that. I was scared to go over there, but I'm not too upset anymore. Oh, like I said, guys, you gotta reset the timers on the on your barrier so that they don't spoil. They do spoil inside of animal inventories. Oh wow, the second aviator. I don't think I put the drone and the queen bee in there. Okay, I'm gonna run over there. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come back for this trike. Okay, I gotta get that done as fast as possible. Get out of my way. And once we get this thing tamed up, uh, we'll take it back to the base. We'll name it, then we'll leave it there. If you guys do not like the name that I pick, you guys can pick one. And if I like yours better, I'll use that. But as for now, since my channel isn't that big, I'm gonna be naming my own dinosaurs. When we get bigger, get a lot more people watching, then I'll let you guys name them. But for now, I'm gonna be naming my own dinosaurs. Oh, why am I so tired? Let me lay down. This is a cheat to get stamina back extremely quickly. Is you go prone whenever you run out of stamina. And it comes back faster. I think it's either two or three times the speed it comes back. Run! I forgot what I'm running back for. Oh, to put the queen bee and the drone bee inside of the APR. Because I want to get as much beeswax and honey. I don't know what the beeswax is for, but I want to get as much honey as possible. Because you never know. That shit could be made to make something to help tame something. Oh, full on sprint. Sprint. Our next thing is a scorpion. But scorpions are so far away. No, we're going to tame the pterodon and then go tame a scorpion. Because we can find scorpions a lot more easily. It got out. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It got out. Shit. Damn it. Oh, I'm so upset. It got out. Oh, my God. It got out. Is this the female? It got out. Damn it. Shit. Oh, they don't have a spoil rate. Oh. Oh, no. I probably got more. Oh. That works. I thought the queen and the drones are supposed to make more. Instead, it's like they all are just dying off. What the fuck? Oh, I'm too heavy. Harry, faster, faster. Huh. 
bring the stamina back. Do I have some flint? That way I can rebuild the, uh... Well, I have the stone. Let's do that. I need some flint for this. Flint and that. I got the thatch. Now I would just need the flint. Every time I see a bronze, I'm like, uh, I don't want to tame one. I don't want to tame one. But I'm going to tame a high level one. That's going to be a long time from now. But I'm taming a high level one. For you guys. All for you guys. And for me too. Never mind. It's for me as well. Oh, wow. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, damn. That was a waste. Is that my Terry Don? Yes, it is. It's the one on my team. Look at that. That color is so fucking cool. And it's level 60, I think. Oh, that's. I'm definitely taming that one. 100%. There's no, there's no doubts about that. That's getting tamed. I need to get a lot more meat to tame it. Oh, I'm definitely taming that. Look at that. It looks so majestic. So white and majestic just flying around. Oh, I'm excited. Yo, if this thing gets back up before I get over here, you know how sad I would be? I might actually just end the episode right there. That might just be the end, guys, if that happens. Right here oh my god that scared me oh wow it fell that's what I didn't see I was looking up I ran all the way home and came back and we're still here that's that's fantastic that is perfection Oh, I'm so excited for this trike. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Normally, whenever I tame a trike at the beginning of the game or the beginning of a series, I literally, like, they are always low level trikes that get stuck on trees. So, those are the low level trikes that are easier to tame. And this one was just gifted to me. It was a gift. I can't, I can't can't let it die. It can't die. I need it to live. Oh, uh, let's see his stats and let's go to the dodo decks to see if this is it good trick or not? Hopefully it's good for what I need it for. Stat calculator. Search for a feature. Trick. Go.
strike. Does a Dodo Dex not do all creatures? That is trash. Oh, they do it by their actual names. Okay. One, one, zero. Okay. This is going to take two hours. What? Taming it with Mezzo Bear is going to take two hours. What the f Fudge. 325. Holy crap. Alright, guys, this video has been going on long enough. Holy shit. So, what I'm going to do is we'll end the video off here, right here, and then we'll bring you in on the next video with the progression of the trike because I'm not going to keep you guys sitting here for two hours I'm sorry I did not think it was going to take that long I apologize so what we'll do is we'll sign off here I'm sorry you guys got to see me knock it out though alright at least you got to see that I'm sorry you guys didn't see me tame it didn't see me name it next video we'll come we'll come back to you when it's uh almost there 97% We'll come back in for the next video, and then we'll move forward from there. All right. In the meantime, I'm gonna be getting some drops. Well, for that, I'm gonna go get this drop. All right, so that you guys can see it. But, geez, I looked it up. If you want to tame 110 trike, right? It is 325 medjo berries with 125. Narco I mean 123 narcotics 24 I think it is no 123 narcotics right or 557 narco berries or there's also the option of using biotoxin which you get from killing jellyfish right using that you have to use 62 biotoxin you have to use 62 biotoxin in, in almost everything but Except for if you use carnal kibble. And I'm not at the point where I can tame a carno. So carnal kibble right now is a no-go. So basically, yeah. I'ma be here for a long time. And while I'm while I'm here, waiting for this thing to tame up. I will just let you guys go. After this drop, I'm going to let you guys go, and then we'll come back later. All right. If you guys enjoyed the video, the very little that we did in this video. Well, I don't think that we did little little things in this video. I feel like we did a lot. We got ourselves a crafting, t a construction table, I think it's called. Crafting table or something like that. We got that. We got two apiaries. Um... I need to find more bees to put in the apiary because I feel like the drone dies way too fast. So I need to find more to put in the apiary. Then also I need to uh, build further up. Like build up some more. Uh, get some Adobe stuff going. And... I do want to make our house, like, I mean, our gray house using stone foundations. Or we can make it like an actual, like, garden off the, oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, it was nothing that I actually wanted. But we can make it like an actual, like, a uh, greenhouse garden, like, coming off the side of the house. Which would be dope because we just have a door going right into it. So I may do that. But I don't want to do it on Lumber Foundation. 
only because of the time that it takes to get lumber like to get the lumber stuff crafted like the material and the time that it takes to gather the material and all that shit it takes too long so i'm guessing that i might do it with um stone material either stone material or adobe material since that clay is a lot easier to come across than gathering a bunch of wood and crafting it and then going out to find stone to make the to make all of the uh, the lumber shit this is i don't know it's it's that night but next episode you'll see me finish taming the trike you'll see uh yeah the trike will be finished taming and that will probably be it at the beginning you won't see anything else now just the trike being tamed other than that guys I'm done. I don't have anything else to tell you guys. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully, 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 I can see you guys again. All right. And next time, I really, I really need to hurry up and do something with this beard. You see this like rugged beard? If I take off the hat, let's take off the hat. Let's take the hat off. You'll, you'll see something that you don't want to see. Look at that. That hair is all over the place. This thing is all wild. Where the fuck did all these parasaurs come from? That's so weird. Alright, but... I will see you guys. I don't know how to do this. Somebody help me. Please, please help me. I don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Emil, let me go. Let me go.